It's your daily cup of constitutional coffee, along with the best conservatainment. It's the Sam Malone Show on AM 1070, The Answer. Da, ba, da, ba, ba, da. Let me get to, uh, we love to take a break from all the agit in the world, all the aggravation, and talk about some of the other things going on in our town. Those NCAA tickets, remember we're doing the scalper sales. There's a great actor, writer, director, man about town, Bo Brinkman, joining us on the show. Uh, Houston born in Pasadena, right? Bo, welcome to the show via Skype. How you doing? Bo, can you hear me? <laughs> yep. Hey, good morning. Good morning, buddy. How you doing? <laughs> We're getting a little, uh, it's getting a little choppy on the internet. Oh, damn. Good, I- good. Uh, Thanks for having me. I, how could I not? Uh, uh, Houstonian in the movie Bidnet. In the movie Bidnet. Uh, it's so cool when you got a Houstonian with ties. The Last Man Club is your new movie. Uh, it's a great story. I got a chance to see it ahead of time. Yes. A great World War II story. Tell everybody about it. Uh, it's, a, it's a very life-affirming uh, story about uh, four uh World War II veterans at the end of their lives, and uh, you know they they are each living in their own private little hells, uh, their in their own predicaments, and uh, you know they this one our lead character in the film gets a letter from a dying member from a VA hospital across country and says, you know, you took an oath seventy years ago, you you, you know you have to come here. And uh, so he goes on this one last mission, and along the way, with the help of a beautiful young lady that he meets by happenstance, uh, they find two other surviving members uh, of their uh, B-17 air crew. And uh, they go on this incredible journey across the United States, and uh, along the way, uh, each one of them finds their their manhood again. And uh, we, we really see this cathartic arch of, of uh, character development where you know you can see they're the they're truly brothers in arms they're you know it's a it's a bond that you just cannot break between uh men who have shared in battle uh so you know it's a it's a sweet little movie it, it's it's funny it, i like to call it a action adventure for geriatrics <laughs> and um <laughs> nice. Uh, no. Now, this get, timeline as the director. How long does it take to make a movie like this, from start to finish, when it all begins? Give me the give me the process. Well, th- this one was one of those type of films that you know when I first wrote it uh, in the in the mid nineties. Uh, you know, a lot of the studios said oh, it was too patriotic, or it was the you know everybody had a different reason to turn it down. And uh, I had met uh, Charlton Heston at. Uh, uh, a movie premiere, and I uh, I actually went to his front door and knocked on the door and, and handed him the script, and he called me a few hours later and said, let's do this thing. So it was with him from uh, 97 until 2000 when he uh, I had him here in Houston, and we had a big dinner with uh, a lot of, of, of uh, investors, and he told me right after that that he was suffering from Alzheimer's and could not, could not, absolutely couldn't do the film. Uh, and then we had just lost, uh, we had uh, uh, a couple of other actors that were attached to the film that died. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Richard Farnsworth, for one, who was going to co-star in the film, and he called me at one time and, at that point and said, can I do it in a wheelchair? And I said, you know, you can do it any way you want to, you know, because he was such a terrific actor. And then, uh, you know, he died right after that. And uh, so, you know, the thing fell apart in 2000. And uh, I got it back together again in 2002 with uh, Mayor Savino and Charles Derning. And then uh, uh, some investors fell out. Oh, my So God. we were back to ground zero again. And then, uh, I, you know, I, I kind of forgot about it. I've written seven other scripts and we did one in 2011 and some of my friends told me you got to make this movie it's you know you don't just let it go because it'll be a period piece in a few years you know there won't be any more veterans left from world war ii so we just went for it and uh thanks to linda pandolf uh my dear friend who i i dragged in as an executive producer she helped me produce the film and uh and it's been a great ride we we started shooting yeah, in 2014, and uh, and a lot of lot, lot of hiccups along the way. I, you know, 
I was diagnosed with uh, ocular melanoma uh, in pre-production and uh, you know, eye cancer. And I, I had two surgeries at UCLA Medical uh, in the middle of mo- making this film. Oh, my God. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Well, I want to tell you something, Bo. It, it looks fantastic. It's Last Man Club. Last Man Club. Fantastic. Thanks for stopping by on the show with us. We're huge fans. Thank you so much. I enjoyed it. Thank Gr- you. Great job.